Okay, Ezra, would you mind reading number the first one for us? Michelle. Kensington. Okay, so let's think this through. Uh, we need to discount something, right? When do we apply the tax? Before or after the? After. after. So we got to get the price with the discount. So I'd like to show you a trick maybe you didn't know. So discount price. Now, hold on for a second. Um, do are they asking us to find out how much the discount is or the discounted price? The total with the discount, right? So there's a quick way to do that. And it's related to what we did yesterday. Okay, so we want the original price is 100%, right? But we're discounting or removing 45%. Okay, that would make it um, 55%. So basically the price with a discount is 55% of the original price. So we want 55% of, how much was it, 150? So let's convert this to a decimal. Of tells us to do what mathematically? Let's do 0.55 times 150. Let's see what we get. So that's $82.50. So the price with the discount now, the price with a discount is $82.50. Now, let's move on to the tax. I got a trick for you there. So, now we want to get the total price of the $82.50, right, with the tax. So, we're going to do something slightly different. Uh, so, to get the cost with the tax, or the total cost, So this time we want to add, right? When you pay tax, you add money. So we have our 100%, which this time is 8250. How much tax do we want to add to that 100%? Nine. Okay, so let's try this. Let's take 100% and add the sales tax. Um, please pay attention. So in case you're wondering, this is the tax. We're adding that. So the, isn't that 109%? Let's convert that to a decimal. So it's 1.09. So we want Basically, 109% of um, 82.50. So we want 109% of that, so that's 1.09. Eighty-two fifty. Oh, times. It's times. Um. Okay. One one point zero nine times eighty-two fifty. Okay. So with the discount and adding the tax, it is eighty-nine. 
93, is that what we get? So you got to be careful with this stuff. You know what they say, with great power comes great responsibility. Um, so here it worked because they didn't ask us to find the discount. They wanted us to get the total with a discount. And here they didn't ask us how much the tax was. They asked us to find the total with the tax. Okay. So let's see if we can't apply that here. Okay. Um, we have a swap meet seller. Uh, David, would you read that for us? Okay. That's a good one. Um, so does everyone understand the context here? Especially this word markup. Anyone, <clears throat> so anyone who sells something, yeah, they have to make profit. And so you mark things up. You know, you buy them for a nickel, you sell them for a dime, they generally say. Well, that's what the markup is. So in this case, are we adding to the 100%, which is the $15, or are we removing? adding okay so the first thing we're going to do is get the markup price we want the markup price so please focus so thinking about what we did here with adding or subtracting percentages how do you think we're going to get that markup price david um, yeah, but what if I want to get the whole price with it, not go to that middle step? Well, that, that would still give us, see, that would still give us just the price. They're not asking us what's the markup that you, you're going to give. They just want the price with the markup. You see how that's working? If they would have just asked, what's the price with the markup? Well, you would do 15% of this, right? And then you would add that amount to the $15. I want to avoid that adding the, that amount. It has to do with what we did in the previous example. Yes. Yeah. Uh, uh, well, think of this. Here we had the price, the full price. Okay, you're already doing it in your head, right? Adding the hundred. The guys. Wait, what if it's 200, 250? Yes. The one hundred percent. The one hundred percent, which is the full fifteen dollars, plus the one one hundred and fifty percent you want to add, right? And that's two hundred and fifty. So the reason is we want two hundred and fifty percent of the original price. And marking it up 150% basically is you want 250% of the original price. So that's turns out to be as a decimal 2.5. So what we're going to calculate here is um, yeah, well, let's see 15 15 dollars times 2.5 okay 37 so that's 37 dollars and so that's the new price so this is the new price for those jeans this is the markup price so just so we understand, this is the markup price.
So that's our markup price. So now, what's going to happen later? What do we eventually have to do? Those those genes are just sitting there. They're not selling. Yes. You have to bring it down by what percent? Twenty-five percent. So this time it's a discount price. Okay. So now to get the discount price, remember what, how we did the discount price before here. Let's try that. We're going to take the full price now, 3750. That's 100%. And what do we have to do? Subtract 25%. So that winds up being So to get the dis new discounted price you want 75% of 37.50. So let's do that. 75% is 0.75 times 37.50. dollars and 13 cents. And guess what? If they still sit there after that, it will probably mark it down again. Um, is the person selling these jeans still making a profit? Yeah, because yeah, they started off at $15. So yeah, a little less, but it's better than just having stock sit, sit on your shelf, right? So yeah, it's still making a profit. What is it? Uh, but it's 28.13 now, so how much profit is he making? Uh, he's making 10. He's making $13.13. Uh, $13.13. 13 13 13 okay. All right. Ready to move on to the ne next problems? Okay. <laughs> Let's read that one. Okay, Mondo, would you read num uh, this one at the top? All right, well, let's see. <clears throat> so you go to Islands. Actually, I went there this weekend. Now that I've done about it. No, no. I got a... They always give their burgers like Hawaiian names. I got a Maui burger and their fries are so really good there. Um, okay, so let's see, what do we have to do? How do we calculate this stuff? Well, first you add the 15% tip. Okay, you can add the 15% tip. Now, here's a question for the tax, for the tax, yes. That, that was a question I was going to ask, and you asked the right question. Yes. The tax, this is the part where people mess up. It's not including tip. Yes, it's not including tip. You okay. don't. Huh? Okay. But let me just tell everyone, you apply the tax to the meal. You apply the tip to the meal, meaning you don't apply the, the tax to the meal plus the tip. Okay? Because that's a mistake people make sometimes. Yes. So it's the burger plus the tax plus the tip. Yes, but the tip, you calculate the tip from the... Actual cost, not with the tax. Not with the tax. Okay? Yeah. All right, so Ezra, what were you going to school me on here? Okay. So we want the price... Mm. Actually, on this one, we're not going to do that. Yeah, we're not going to do that because we only want 15% of the price of the meal. So we only want that. Yeah. 
So we're going to do 15% of $45.65, which is six eighty-five. thank you. Okay, and then let's do the tax. Okay, should we do it the same way? It, in other words, 9.5% of 4565? Yep. Let's try that. 9.5% of, again, that original price, 4565. What if you need $4.34? $4.34, correct. Okay. So basically multiply the percent as a decimal times your original price. Now let's get the total bill. Total always tells me to add some stuff. What am I adding? Uh, you add the, the tip, the bill, and the tax. $50, tip, $84, $54. And just so we're clear, this was the tip. This was the tax. You can't get away from those taxes. Um, 56 and 84 cents. Okay, that's it. So... I got fifty six eighty four. Did anybody else get? Yeah. yeah, that's what I got too. Fifty six eighty four. Anybody else add and get that? Okay. So, in the end, this is our total bill. All right. Kathy, would you mind reading where it starts, a cowboy hat? A cowboy hat and a fork in San Antonio Park, for $40 for and it's 25% off. It's a small sell for a month, so they add an additional 25% off. The discount price. What is the total sell price? Okay. So let's talk about this one. What's going on? What's the context here? We have cowboy hat. In San Antonio, Texas. How much does it sell for? Forty dollars. Then what happens? Twenty-five percent off. <clears throat> then what happens after that? Then you take another twenty-five percent. Now my question to you is: Does that really mean it's fifty percent off? No. We got to first apply, get the new price after the sale. And then do that again to that sale price. Take another 25% off. Okay. So let's call it the first discount. First discount. And so if it's 25% off and I want to get that sale price it'd be thirty dollars we want 75 percent of 40. and that is thirty dollars you multiply 0. 0.75 times 40 you get the thirty dollars and now let's take a second discount
And so same thing, 100 minus 75 is, uh, 100 minus 25 is 75%. Of not forty dollars this time, but thirty dollars. And we get how much did you say? So $22.50. And that most clearly isn't the same price, right? Because if we have if it would have been fifty percent adding the two twenty fives. That would be what, $20? So it's a little more than that. But our new price after the two discounts is $22.50. Okay, so go ahead and apply the sales tax here. Um, by the way, it's true. What is the total cost if sales tax in San Antonio is, now I have to check. Eight dollar, eight point twenty five percent. Yes. Uh, twenty four dollars and thirty six cents. Yeah. So basically, you want a hundred and eight point twenty five percent. I took a hundred and added eight point twenty five. So I took a hundred percent, added eight point twenty five percent of the thirty to uh, twenty two fifty. And what did you say again, Billy? It was $24.06. All right. So these are the types of questions we'll be pondering on today's IXL. Yeah. The thing is, IXL has so many, so much of a variety. I try to give you as many um, deltas as I can. But deltas are really, delta is really scaled towards algebra one and above. I understand. I, I'm sorry for your anger issues. You can build a school for a therapist, but. Um, um, next year, you'll see that we are gonna do way more deltas.